Okay, so today we're going to be learning about Mondo films. You probably ought not be watching any Mondo films. Let me do that for you. Certainly not this one. No, no one else watched this film. This is, this is trash. Let me explain to you what a Mondo film is. So Mondo films, well actually it's Wikipedia, but I'm, I'm reading on their behalf, promoting it. For free, they don't accept payments. And, and this isn't an ad, Wikipedia doesn't do ads. Mondo films are a subgenre of exploitation films and documentary films. Many Mondo films are made in a way to resemble a pseudo-documentary and usually depicting sensational topics, scenes or situations. Common traits of Mondo films include portrayals of foreign cultures, which have drawn accusations of ethnocentrism or racism, an emphasis on taboo subjects such as death and sex, and stage sequences presented as genuine docu excuse me, documentary footage. Over time, the films have placed increasing emphasis on footage of the dead and dying, both real and fake. The term Mondo is derived from the Italian word for world. The term shockumentary is also used to describe the genre. Mondo films first began to soar in popularity in the 1960s with the releases of Mondo Kane 1962, Women of the World 1963, and Africa Adio 1966. The genre arguably reached its peak of Faces of Death in 1978, a film that inspired myriad imitators such as the Traces of Death series, Banned from Television, Death Scenes, and Faces of Gore series. Although earlier films such as Alessandro Blasetti's Europa de Notte, Europe by Night, 1959, and Luigi Vanzi's Il Mondo de Notte, not, I say not, World by Night, 1961, may be considered examples of the genre. The origins of the Mondo documentary are generally traced to the 1962 Italian film Mondo Cane, A Dog's World, a mild Italian profanity by Paolo Cavara, Gualtero Giacopetti, and Franco Prosperi, which was a commercial success. Documentary films imitating Mondo Cane in the 1960s often included the term Mondo in their titles, even if they were in English. Examples include Mondo Bizarro, Mondo Daytona, Mondo Mod, Mondo in Fame, and Mondo Hollywood. Films outside the genre followed suit. Mondo Trasho, Mondo Weirdo, A Trip to Paranoia Paradise, Mondo Keyhole, and Mondo Brutal, a German release of Wes Craven's The Last House on the Left, title themselves Mondo, although none are Mondo documentaries. Later in the decade, this naming convention began to fall out of favour, and few Mondo films identify themselves as such in their titles. The War Game, a 1965 British film depicting conditions before and after a nuclear attack on England, would not see public broadcast for 20 years. Would that be considered part of Mondo? That's an odd, odd claim, but... Eh. Filmmakers wanted to top each other in shock value to attract audiences. Cruelty to animals, accidents, tribal initiation rites, and surgeries are features of a typical Mondo. Much of the action is staged, although the filmmakers may claim their goal is to document reality. Subjects of Mondo films include sex, Mondo Sex and Mondo Sexualis USA, celebrities, Mondo Elvis and Mondo Lugosi, youth culture, Mondo Tino, and the gay subculture, Mondo Rocco. Russ Meyer's film Mondo Topless was one of the few documentaries restricted to the old midnight movie circuit in the pre-VCR era. It explored strip clubs in 1960 San Francisco at a time when strip clubs were a novelty in the United States, restricted to centres of port city decadence, such as San Francisco. Other examples of this genre included Mondo New York by Harvey Keefe, Mondo De Notte by Gianni Perea, and Mondo Balordo by Roberto Bianchi Montero. The 1980s saw a resurgence of Mondo movies focusing almost exclusively on on-screen death instead of world cultures. The Faces of Death series is a notable example of this type of Mondo or death movie. The producers used fake footage passed off as real, but some of the footage was legitimate, including scenes of autopsies, suicides and accidents. The rare 1985 film Mondo Senza Veli, World Without Veils or Mondo Fresh, was purported by viewers to feature at its end the brutal execution of a young Arab rapist by a public rectal impalement. This episode was, however, believed to have been a staged execution by some viewers. Mondo films in the 21st century feature gore, exemplified by the Faces of Gore and Traces of Death series. There is less fake footage and many use news footage of accidents from East Asia. The late 2010s saw another resurgence, beginning of the bootleg death tape series and Faces of Dying series from filmmaker Dustin Ferguson, which have both involved various independent directors from around the world. Yeah, I'm really hoping we're not using real footage at this point, right? Like, if you want to stage it, 
and it's not real you know go for it august underground whatever uh, the fred derloff whatever whatever his name was a bit fred vogel but man you, you don't want to go too far with this stuff don't don't and no no butterfly eyes either like that what that that that, that film from china no that 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 film's not on a number of films have parodied the genre examples include Ricardo Fratelli's Mondo Ford, Mr. Mike's Mondo Video by Saturday Night Live's Michael O'Donoghue, and Is There Sex After Death by Jean and Alan Abel, Mondo Biondo spoofed the film's approach to titling but was a parody of satellite television. The Italian cannibal film is arguably an offshoot of the Mondo film, and we've talked about the cannibal films a lot, so I figured at some stage we may as well discuss its originator of sorts in the Mondo film, and we will probably never discuss Mondo again if we have any decency to us. We'll find out if we do in the future, I suppose.